the theater of the oppressed is a vehicle that we can use to promote social and political change through performance arts, through spect actors, spectators who become actors themselves. The theater of the oppressed is something that was thought about or created by Brazilian Augusto Boal. He kind of took it from the teachings of Paulo Freire, from being very participatory, engaging people in the way that uh, we are facing a problem and addressing a problem, and he kind of really brought it to, um, to a very creative space, where people participate in it, where people have a say in the way that the narrative is being created and changing a situation that feels wrong morally wrong, wrong in, in any way whatsoever. So they try to fix, they try to correct that. In that way they can experience and they can let others experience what a different reality would be like. And there's a lot of power in that. Thanks again for being here. So you are in the session of uh, re your research has no impact. So first of all, thanks for admitting that that is an issue. <laughs> I think it all begins by that, no? uh, that humility actually. Um, so it's great to have you here. And this session really is about um, thinking, doing, um, exploring ways for research to have more impact. And of course, impact will mean different things to everyone sitting in this room. Um, but what we try to do is to highlight some of the challenges that we all encounter, whether we are researchers, practitioners, government, and so on, and then how can we just try to break those barriers and, you know, come together for a good outcome. Two, one, action! It's a blistering hot day at a maze farm. Hot as in increasing temperatures as in heat waves, as in drought is around the corner. Many people are put off by climate change and the uncertainties it brings. Uh, others are confused by it. Others believe that it's just one of many problems in one's everyday life. So many ways to look at, at the problems faced by people and families in this town, a maize growing area. This is the second year in a row that there is no crop. I mean, look at these black spots. Bottom line is, people are unhappy. Scientists, NGOs, community members, uh, politicians, government officials, journalists, and, and communications people. That's me, by the way, but I'm also the almighty narrator. <laughs> um, different knowledge sources, different agendas, leading to different realities. But what is more real? than a struggling farmer's failing crop. The atmosphere is tense, and the heat of the day isn't helping any tempers. The scene is set. Yes, yes, I understand your concern, but we can't rush ahead with calculations. I've spent too much time and money invested into this study to just rush ahead with the answers now. I keep telling you, time invested doesn't mean results. We have to go on and go with the big corporations. But you don't understand. See, everything is changing. Myself, the owner of the Abu Farm business, called me last night asking for a settlement. Look, elections are around the corner and I need to show people that I've done some work. I'm running for re-election, you know this. We did tell you that the soil was too dry to expect good results. The big farmers, they're withdrawing too much water for their export crops. Plus, the forecasts for this year don't look good. What is it, 42 degrees already? I mean, I can feel the back of my neck starting to peel already. Oh, I keep telling you both, research doesn't mean anything if it doesn't reach the right people. We have to get working on that front. People here are all leaving for the big city. My own cousin left last night. Look how long we've known each other, four years now? And you know what the situation of the village is? No money means no jobs. And they keep borrowing more money and it keeps going on and on. And the same is happening in the villages of this region. That, you make it sound like a bad thing. It's a good thing that people are going to the city. We can't control how hot it's going to get. You promised me solutions. When you came to my community looking to make an impact for your organization, I agreed to work with you. Where is the government? Where is the aid you promised me? Look, for any type of growth to happen, maize needs a good balance of moisture, that's rain, 
and uh, optimum temperatures with a forecast of 45 degrees for the next week, uh, your problems are bound to get worse. And you need to talk about... to your people. They need to find some alternative measure to making money. How about food security? Does the research address that? And the age you promised me? Wait, we are working on influencing water authorities to put stricter resolutions on water extractions by the big farming corporations. We have to keep, 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 keep working on that. Listen, Johanna, research like this takes time. This is the weather we're talking about. You can't just rush along with it. Have, we need to get data, gather data. We need to get our money. All I know is that the council elections are around the corner <laughs> and I need an answer fast. I'm on the list this time, and if I can get the party's attention, I can get the much-needed money into the village. The arrival of a chance email is about to set all of this in a very different direction. <laughs> okay, listen, I've just got a message. Hmm? Apparently, Ed can no longer make it to, to the conference. You're going to have to present in this place of the Adaptation Futures. Wait, 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 wait. Adaptation Futures is in three days. Sure. Are you serious about this? Okay, in that case, we need to rush. We need to go to Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming with you. Yes. Yes, let's all go and meet with the decision makers. Yes. And then we can have, we can put our points across. Yes. I think we can talk about a sensible way forward in the car. Uh, now that I'll be going to Adaptation Futures, I'll have to just work and uh, produce some results. Rush, rush, rush things. <laughs> just get outputs done. So that's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm. That's all it takes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next time I should just organize a conference and get some results, huh? <laughs> <laughs> These people are so strange. <laughs> And so everybody, or almost everybody, is on stress mode, back from the field to their offices. Despite some doubts and hesitations at the start about who should go or not, now everyone has accepted that this is the dream team that will go to Adaptation Futures. Everyone is expecting to have a big impact, which brings me to the discussion of the moment. Uh, no one seems to agree on what that impact is, or uh, what it should look like, what it does, and how to get there. Anyway, you'd better see for yourselves. People, we keep on going in circles here. What matters here is the most. We need to address the big decision makers and let them know about our problems. I'm not sure I'm with you on this one. Impact is about the legitimacy of our work, the robustness of our thinking. We can't, our reputations depend on it. We can't possibly be wanting to influence decision makers without our, our work being, being challenged and, and reviewed and validated by the community. Okay! Finally, someone starts thinking about the community, the real impact, the impact that people are experiencing. N Johanna, I think he's talking about the academic community. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, we will get to you. Chris is very right, however. Firstly, we need to make sure, without any reasonable doubt, that our findings are strong. That's exactly what a forum like Adaptation Futures is for. Impact. As in a journal's impact factor. <laughs> it's clear. No. Look, I have one word for you. Hashtag. <laughs> Do I have to say more? Yeah. Impact is about visibility. It's about spreading your message online. Drew, if the snowball effect gets big enough, then don't even worry about convincing decision makers. They'll just have to follow. And Chris and Robert, Forget about long processes of validation and review. I mean, by the time your word gets out, it's outdated, dudes. It, it, it's it's wait, about wait, 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 momentum wait. And, and, and mass. So that's what impact is to you people. That's it? Huh? And what about my little boy? Where does he fit into this impact idea of yours? My cousin who migrated to the city, me! And my real life problems, my hopes, my dreams. People. Are we fighting the same battle here, or we're drifting apart even though we're on the same boat? If only we've been asked what impact is to us. And in this constructive way, the day <laughs> passed, and soon it was time to head to Adaptation Futures and have some impact. <laughs> <laughs> 
Will we be able to keep our acts together? Now, the million hustles with the badges begin. The millions of checks, restrictions as to which areas you can and cannot access. Has anyone met Bernadette? Oh, nice. She's a social scientist. She's working on gender and climate change. We met at the entrance. And we know each other from long ago. Uh, oh, there, there, there. VIP entrance. Come on, let's go. No, it's fucking not you guys. Uh, this entrance is reserved for technical advisors only. Believe me, not everyone can just walk through this gate. Nor should they, to be honest. Uh, just be patient, you'll get your chance, don't worry. It begins. Second class citizen status. Women, minorities, youth, and um, non-experts. I told you, it is a man's world! While we get to change that. Without gender equality, this planet is doomed. Climate change or no climate change. Hear these words. Hashtag time's up. Tweet that too, won't you? <laughs> Temperatures rise at the entrance to the climate conference. Hashtag not sure how this will end up. Hashtag is this really a man's world? <laughs> it was a nice discussion. I liked our session. Although... I think, why was everyone talking about our life, the livelihoods and vulnerabilities of my people back home? I mean, is this how they talk about their own lives too? Um, I, I think it's time to go, because the scientists have finished their presentation at the plenary. Wait, 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 wait. How did people feel about the feminist principles I brought into the local adaptation planning process? And how about our findings? We've been promoting youth championships, and they've had a real impact on social changes. And I sent Robert one slide to add to his presentation at the end. Uh, no, 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 no. I think um, they just, pre uh, yeah, they presented on their climate and soil models. Um, but they did mention the impact on crop yields in your homeland, Joanna. Huh. Unacceptable. It's always the same. Well, I mean, it was really well received and, and all tweeted and, and I took a photo of you guys and I tagged it, you know, like hashtag dialogue for solutions. So I, I don't think you should like, worry too much about it. <laughs> well, um, okay, well, how was your, um, your session at that side of it? Well, everyone was very supportive. Although I think everyone in the audience was either a Muzungu, a hippie or from an NGO or all of that. <laughs> Look! There's the big decision maker. We have to talk to her. This is our chance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know her. We went to university together. That's right. It's all very nice talking to you all, PhDs. All very nice. Now, we need to make all of this digestible. You understand what I mean? Yes. Digestible. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. yes, 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 so yes, yes, yes. We have simplified our our summary in this journal, journal article for you. And we're very happy for you to, to use it to improve your, your knowledge and to maybe you put it into your, um, your thinking policies. <laughs> uh, yes, we said we'd never cross the line to policy influencing. We already have full-time jobs. <laughs> um. <laughs> of course! <laughs> I see. What could I have been thinking? Hi, Shonda. Oh, my God! <laughs> Benedict! What are you doing? How's your family? How's your parents? How's your brother, Dominique? How's our... Wait. Don't tell me you got married to that man, um, what's his name, that you were dating back then? Uh, oh, Oliver. Oh, hell's no. Nice. He was a different... Okay, well, we know. <laughs> so, Shanda, ma'am. Um, so we wanted to tell you about the work of our youth champions. And they've been having a real impact on society. So we wish that they could work very well with your team. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Interesting. Benedict, hmm? is he working with you? Unfortunately. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Now, young man, can we hear what you... Wait. Oh, wait right here, you young man. You are with that NGO that said nasty things about my administration, isn't it? Yes, it is. Out! Oh. I don't want to hear anything from you. Get out! How dare you! Oh, 
Is that how it is? You might not have said nasty things, but you did nasty things. You are not a good administration, and we don't need you anyway. We will continue fighting for the revolution. Onwards <laughs> to victory! Temperature rising at the climate change conference. <laughs> Dialogue is very challenging. <laughs> Young lady, yes. are you a climate champion? Uh, no, no, ma'am. I'm from the village, uh, Sekwa, and I'm here to talk about how life is becoming difficult for us in our town. Oh, good. Come, let's take a photo. Comms person, <laughs> please take a photo of me and this young lady. <coughs> okay, and you, Benedict. No, 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 no. Just the three of us. Thank you. Take a photo of the three of us, the lady from the rural area, the champion of gender and equality, and me. Now take a photo and tweet this, from global to local. <laughs> Making change a reality. <laughs> Handlebar, Shanda for Pressy. That is Shanda at number four and Pressy, okay? Making gender equality a reality. Okay, okay, everyone, please come here. All of you. No, 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 not you. <laughs> Get out. You Get are out. taking re-election. The poverty is up and the inequality is on onwards. Women are being affected from their lands. You are giving big corporations lands. How dare you? There is a bridges. I still say, onwards to victory. <laughs> As I was saying, they are waiting for me outside to do my speech. Uh, the conference has convinced me that everything can be linked to climate change. Yes, uh, yes, yes, it can. Yes, it can. <laughs> so, our poor people from Shiva yeah, yeah. Our poor people are in a poor shape, and it's all because of climate change. Um, but otherwise, we are doing good. <laughs> so um, I just need you to confirm my statement, sign underneath, and endorsing it. Um, this is to make. People understand that we are telling the truth. Okay, so I need you to sign right there quickly now. <laughs> oh, sign? Yeah. Endorse her? Mm -hmm. She's out of her mind. Never, 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 never. Uh, well, with regards to climate change, um, I, I can say that it, that's not the full picture. There are other things to consider, uh, like uh, there are different kinds of variables. No, 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 no. no. It's, uh, it's very simple, it's very simple. Uh, like my sister here, Johanna said, from uh, Chiva, uh, uh, um, like Johanna said that, um, that things have changed. The crops have become less abundant. The rains are not constant. The water is dirty. The, um, the the, the the insects are eating the leaves and the vegetables and it's all because of climate change. Oh, it's new. It's new. And it's new. It's it's so new and it's new and we and our country. Yes. It's exactly. Thank you, Roberta. It's not our fault. It's not it's not our fault. Um, uh, it's Roberta. It's not our fault. No money. Climate change devastating country. Rich countries hide and disappoint again. Hashtag shameful. Um, <laughs> Shana, sister, um, you make good points. And um, while we know how difficult your job is, it's probably one of the most difficult jobs in the country. What we're trying to say is that yes, there is climate change, but there are other problems too like um, the water governance issue. Big farming is extracting too much water, and so therefore the brothers and sisters in the villages can't get any more clean water. 
Indeed, the water tables are increasing, and the, uh, it's in di direct implications with the soil fertility, <laughs> and the likelihood of erosion is very likely. In turn, uh, the index... Okay, okay, just let me finish. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so there's that problem. And then there's other issues such as women being very harshly discriminated against. Shonda, you're, you're privileged. The average woman doesn't have nearly as many benefits as you do. Okay, I see, Benedict. It's really difficult. Yes. Now, how do I say that in my speech? Uh -huh. um, but you include climate change in. But also, just take out, don't say too much about the government's part, just take it out. Okay? Yes? Uh, yes? Yeah. Yes, okay. thank okay. you. Okay. Does anybody have a question? Okay. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay. Second. Hello? Yes. Yes. Oh no. Oh dear. Is there no one who can take care of this? Yes, I understand. Yes, yes, I'll be right there. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I really have to go. My son has a fever and my mother fell and hurt her hip. I have to go. They need me. I'm really sorry. But wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. wait. Um, can't can't someone, someone help you? <laughs> well, they could, but will they? Oh, how about my speech? A benefit, they are waiting for I me. need to go now, Shonda. I don't expect you to understand. Oh, ma'am. Shonda, I mean, Madam Politician, you're in safe hands now. <laughs> Robert, please. Oh, yes, well, um, uh, with regards to climate change, uh, that's not the only issue we have. Um, I can say with a high level of confidence that there are other things to consider. Uh, for instance, um, the water tables have been dropping at an alarming rate, which leads me to believe that uh, the water consumption of large-scale farming is having a, a, a preposterously, magnificently bad effect on... Uh, what we would call a natural recharge rate of the region. So, um, yes, uh, here, here, or oh, there, we have uh, our peer-reviewed journal article, which is only about 7,000 words, so don't worry, pretty comprehensive, you can get through it in a night. Uh, and in there, it details exactly what you need to speak about in your speech. No, 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 not again, not ever. I did not understand a word you just said. Rebecca? Where is that NGO guy? Bring him back! <sighs> <laughs> now, I only have two minutes to complete my speech. And these people are not being helpful at all! So let's hear what you have to say. How do we solve this problem? Yes, Miss Shanda. A politician, ma'am. I promise I'll be a good NGO this time. <laughs> okay. Um, climate change is not the only problem. Um, big commercial farming companies are the problem too. They use a lot of water and they pollute it too. Ma'am, I think you need to change your political analogies, ma'am. You need to bring on the real people. Bring on the revolution, bring on a change, because we need a change, and if not, we will. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, how about me? How about my people? Wait, wait. So, what you are saying is that we need to get rid of big farming. Mm -hmm. The same big farming that helps us with a lot of money, that helps us build roads and schools. That big farming, yes? Yes? And, and that gives central power to the people who don't pay taxes. And in addition, I lose control over management of water because of communities being in charge of it. And that is how we solve the problem in your crazy mind? <laughs> is that the transformation we want in this country? Yes! Exactly! <laughs> now you're understanding, ma'am. Yes, exactly. So this is research impact. Oh, that's great. I've had a good on Twitter. Ah, at last, dialogue for solutions. <laughs> um, Madam Shanda, uh, could, could you just pose right there? And, uh, you know, now that all is agreed, so um, we can get a picture, and then you can go Out. and do this. Out! 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 
Everyone out! Roberta, I need you to get me a new set of scientists. NGOs, the ones. All of them must be new and it must be people that I can completely work with. Please, Roberta, and you must do it now. People that I can actually work with. Please, Roberta, go! <laughs> At least I have my valuable speech right under my seat. Uncompromising and very vague. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> when Aristotle started doing uh, theater, he uh, envisioned it as something very much distant, far from the everyday person, like you and me. Something that we, normal people, could go, experience, see another reality, see something that was very far and was not expected to depict reality, in fact. It was just a story we were, we were hearing, we were exposed to, but we were not expected to relate to it in a direct way. So in a way, in that sense, it was external. It was not a way to relate to our own experiences. Many, many decades after, with people like Bertolt Brecht, this conception of what the theater should be changed completely. And it started to be a lot about how can we, as humans, normal people like us, feel represented in what's happening on stage? And how does that reality relate to our own experiences? So in that sense, it changed the way that theater goers experience that because it was much closer now we could we could relate we could see you know um what was being told as something that related to our own truths to our own realities to what was happening in our world you know to the political moment that we were living we just met at the entrance we've known each other for a long time oh, a vip entrance there it is come on let's go Oh, no, it's fucking not you. Uh, this entrance is reserved. Yes, yes, yes. We have some from the audience. Okay, so, so, so who do you want to, to replace? The climate. <laughs> But still, it's still a man's well. Well, we're here to change that. Without gender equality, this planet is doomed. And look, I'm a female uh, climate scientist. <laughs> 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 Are you happy with your, what was your objective? Um, then wanting to separ separate and be separate from, and mm -hmm. you can, you, you don't have to accept those okay. conditions, you can say no. So you feel you achieved your objective? Yes, I did. By Bruce Force, you just <laughs> went <laughs> Okay. She invited okay. everybody. By sheer personality. By sheer personality. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so people are happy with this, what, yes. uh, Helen here? Yeah. 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 Oh. I still say it is a man. <laughs> well, well, we're here to change all that, aren't we? Mm. Without gender equality, this planet is doomed. <laughs> climate change or no climate change. change. Hear these words. Hashtag time's up. And uh, tweet that too, won't you? Just as important. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't walk because what the stare of your walk past is the standard you accept. And time is up. It is no longer a man's world. It's time to embrace the rest of us. Woo. 
to boil all that down, but that's going to be important in this meeting with the minister. So I'm wondering if you had a chance to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> we did assess the graphs. <laughs> so um, over to you to, to decide whether the climate and agricultural scientists should become more uh, flexible to this kind of messaging or not. So-so? <laughs> So, so maybe a little bit. They're trying. They're trying. They're getting. They're 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 on a journey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, did you want to? I was just going to jump into the scientist to answer that question. Okay, come on, come over. You want to substitute the scientist? Come on, come on. Well, you you have a communications person here. No, I need this one. <laughs> <laughs> So I know you said I was supposed to have two sentences ready. I'm really sorry, I haven't done it and I really need some help. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if we can fit two sentences, like I'm on Twitter and there's like a certain number of characters. So. 26. No, yeah, we can have different we can have different products because you can do like tweeting that's short and then I can do your thing because that's to do with like policy makers. And then we have something that's more geared with a gender focus for your message, and more geared with community in yeah. regular language. And I'm going to substitute communications. Teresa, <laughs> <laughs> <And, and laughs> Teresa, also come this way. So, oh, yeah, I, can I think on. you're, yeah, tell us a little bit about what you wanted to do uh, here. Um, just show how it's really important to work with the communications team or to make sure that you're including, like, different audiences. So you're not just thinking about, like, academic outputs mm -hmm. and, or not just saying, like, the same academic things but in two sentences, like okay. changing the language <laughs> that you use, you know, completely not using jargon. So it's really important. And uh, you're very illuminated for a climate scientist who was working very much on graphs, so you moved very quickly to that. Uh... Oh, I'm not a climate scientist, that's a thing. Oh, yeah, so they need to do that, but not me. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. I so need to as well. The journey continues, I think, it's fair to say. Huh? It's a badge. Okay. So what we're trying to do, mm -hmm. in a very basic sense, mm -hmm. now we're trying to explain to the decision maker, or oh, at least this is our intention, that there is more than one thing to consider when it comes to climate change, or yes. at least why there are the problems that are in, why there are the problems wrong. that there are. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Chris, basically, the decision maker <laughs> needs to know no, no. that the people of... Sivara <laughs> Sequa. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Need help. They need water, they need better facilities to grow their food and make an income. That's basically what we're saying. Forget the jargon, forget the grass, forget the, the knowledge. We just need <laughs> them to get more help. Okay, and, and you, you guys have some suggestions on how to do that? We do, yes. in a very uh, <laughs> theoretical <laughs> journal article. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will do my level best to to sort of sort up on it and translate it for you into English and then I'm going to give it back to you and, and you check it, it and you English. say if it <laughs> <laughs> you say so but um, I beg okay. I'll give you a summary how's that important for us that everybody of you has one statement in it so could you think of your statement and you and I we are the ones who try to make it and get it together and yeah. bring it together okay and find this in a way that it fits into the ministry without using their okay. <laughs> As scientists, we are working with the NGOs and the community leaders to come up with new ideas to help 
the people on the ground, the everyday person to better their lives within an agricultural sense, a climate change call sense. If I say hashtag Greenpeace, I'm going to get a Theater of the oppressed, you know, helps us to build together knowledge through dialogue. So that knowledge is not just something that is acquired. It's not something that is there and we can learn from it in a book and then take it away. We acquire knowledge or rather we build knowledge through dialogue, through conversations, through interaction uh, with different people and through by learning from these uh, different sources of information, of knowledge, of uh, lived experience, etc. So we come to it from a very open perspective perspective, not from something that we're just going to learn from and take away, but it's a, it's a two-way street. And that, again, the theater of the oppressed helps you get there. And by doing that, we are deconstructing and exploring realities that are not there, but realities that maybe should be there because they are more socially just, as well as identities. Why does a particular person have to behave in such a way? Some Someone, for example, who is considered to be an indigenous person or who is an indigenous person who is a who has local knowledge often they are just seen as someone who can provide that local knowledge that indigenous knowledge but nothing else well that person can provide a lot more not just you cannot put him in a box or here's the indigenous knowledge coming from this person and that's the end of the story no they will have opinions beyond their role as uh, or, or beyond their identity given as an as an indigenous person so it kind of like breaks these boundaries around identity and uh, finally, I think it also helps locate hope. You know, it's very hard, you know, and many times when you do this in the context of um, development and humanitarian efforts, when you do a theater of the oppressed in this context, you are facing very tough situations of, um, of poverty, of disenfranchisement, of marginalization. And the theater of the oppressed gives you the opportunity to locate hope within those spaces where you really are kept outside of any kind of decision making, outside of any kind of recognition that you are a person living in that situation and you should have a say to move things around, to change things around, to change um, the way that decisions are made, the power, the way that power is, uh, is built and the way that, um, yeah, um, the future is, uh, is created based on the decisions made today.